All right, now gin. Tell me about gin because I'm not a gin drinker. Neither am I, but, but people like this stuff. So gin, the strangest of all alcohols. They take a very tasteless alcohol made from a variety of substances, even potatoes is fine, and they flavor it with juniper the nastiest tasting substance on the planet. Why? I don't have a fucking clue, I'm telling you. <laughs> However, all mixed drinks using gin are designed to mask the flavor of the juniper. So what is the point? I've got no clue, but I'll give you an example right here. We're gonna make a gin sky. Okay, and the gin sky is designed to completely remove the juniper taste from gin. Very fucking important because if you drink straight gin, you're going to vomit. This is yeah. just the facts, right? I'll agree with that. Yes, okay. So now. It only we, took once. All right, so we put a little bit of gin. This is for both of us, so it's two drinks. Okay. Pour the gin over ice. You have to drink gin cool or cold because warm gin, honestly, you want to hang yourself instead. <laughs> okay. Then you take any, any um, Mai Tai mix. I'm using Bar Smith. It's a nice one here. They don't pay me, but they should. Um, Maybe they will after this. Yeah, just, just a tad of Mai Tai. Okay, splash of right. that. Then Rose's lime juice. Just a tad. Uh, maybe a little more. Okay. Then we have sweet and sour mix. It doesn't matter who we use, it's all the same garbage. Okay, put a fair amount of that in here. I feel right. like you missed your calling as, as, a, as a bartender. Then you take two lemon twists. Twist them good, throw them in there. This will also help cut the flavor of the juniper and stir. You want to stir it enough, but you start out, you notice I started with ice in the bottom, so that cools the mixture. Okay. Then, the last point, you want soda water. So this is a refreshing, very refreshing drink. Absolutely. Citrusy, it's refreshing. It's a very refreshing okay. drink. You must trust me, you're gonna love this. And then you pour, you want the ice of the lemon to get in the glass. Well, you have a little ice in there, you didn't tolerate that. I'll live. You will. <laughs> There we go, a little more here. Then, welcome to the gin sky. <laughs> to the media, and may you cease to exist. <laughs> now tell me. Can you taste the gin? Not at all. Yes. This is We have seriously... masked that substance which they put in there for the sole purpose of making us figure out how to take it out. That's the British for you. This is the only way we deserve to drink it then, right? No, I, I think so. <laughs> this, is, this would be amazing poolside. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. Very I'm good. I'm sorry the rest of you guys. There are probably 15 people <laughs> in this know, room. People. For those of you at home watching, <laughs> a lot of people here because to create one of these things requires a lot of people, plus I have my own staff. These poor bastards aren't getting to drink this. All right. Not this time. Not this time. <laughs> but it is very good, I must admit. Uh, so, I have a question. You have a question for me? Okay. I do. Why are you here? I'm here because I feel like I had my eyes open less than a year ago okay. about what it means to live in the U.S., what it means to live the way we live day in, day out. I just learned, literally, about cryptocurrency and blockchain technology less than a year ago. Okay. And the minute I heard what blockchain can do and what cryptocurrency can do, not just for people financially, but for people all over the world who don't even have identities, people who are leaving, uh, you know, refugees who are leaving everything behind and have no way to even prove what they own, who yes. they are. Yes. I just thought, how could everybody not be excited about this? This, 
levels the playing field. It is now the great equalizer. I just, I, I knew cryptocurrency existed. I knew blockchain existed, but it was one of those things that was removed several times from me. I had a job, a, a career. I had the golden handcuffs where I was paid really good money, but not a few money. And it was enough to keep me right where I was living. Right where you were. Right where I was. Right in your cage. Exactly. I really felt like people need to freaking know about this. People need to know what our options are um, because we don't. We're completely kept like right. mushrooms, no. fed shit and kept in the dark, right? That's right. how I felt at that moment. Absolutely. And I would never felt that way before. Well, you, you touched on the most important problem that we have. That is, you're excited because you saw it. I'm excited. I saw it when I read Satoshi's paper. All of my people here are excited. But it's not in the power structure's interest for the world to get excited about this. That's what you I understand? liked about it. No, because... Right. It's not in their interest. Right. And so they are doing everything within their power. It started out by demonizing us. You know, cryptocurrency is used only by crooks. Well, I know that's not true. The dark web, Silk Road, <laughs> we've web, all yeah. been through that. As if, right. as if the dollar is not being right. used of in the same way. So, no. Our job is not to get rid of crime. Cryptocurrency will not solve the problems of human frailty. Will not. It will, however, make the issue of human sacrifice, love, joy, caring, and grace far more powerful far more powerful. So this is what excited me. So governments see this, the smart people. Now the, the people who are locked in a closet with blinders, you know, like the horse blinders, you can't see anything except right here, they will eventually wake up and they will be terrified. And then we're gonna have problems. Because like what, see, what, what kind of problems? Well, I mean, let's assume I'm the president of the US. And I've been in the, in the dark about cryptocurrency. I hear about it, ah, it's nothing my advisors say, don't worry about it, I'm going ahead. <clears throat> and then one day, I don't take my advisor's advice, I start looking at myself and go, holy fuck, this is gonna take over the world. No, I'm one of the most powerful men in the world if I'm president, am I not? And I realize that if this blooms, blossoms, and is accepted, I'm gonna be an ordinary citizen. End of story. Now, I'll be an ordinary system with lots of money, maybe. I'll have zero power, no more than you. Me, Janice, no one here, no more power than anybody else. You can have as much money as you want. Buy as many yachts as you want. What is your power over me? Zero. Because you cannot control my financial independence. End of story. So I'm the president. I see that and I go, fuck. In two years, who cares who's president? Because we'll have zero power. Zero money, because we can't collect taxes. It's all over. Am I going to go call my, hey, listen, people, it's going to be all over. Let's just go home. No. I'm going to say, we have an enemy. Right. That enemy is crypto and the blockchain and John McAfee and Roger Ver and Jihan Wu. Now, do you think we're not going to be targets? Fuck yes. Targets first of legal oppression. Well, see if you can jail them on some criminal charge. Well, I make sure that I'm walking the straight and narrow always. Tax evasion is right now. I will right admit now. to this, people, I smoke weed. <laughs> Why? Because if the government wants to bring me down for smoking weed, please, come on. Because I want to go on CNN and tell my story. So, no, they're not going to do that. But that's it. I walk the straight and narrow. So does Roger Ver. So does G. We're, we're not stupid people. We know what's coming. When the legal things won't work, then problems are going to come out. Everybody is going to have issues. Not, 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 you're not, your, not your safety, not, you know, nothing will harm you, but they're going to try everything to scare you. You, the people. Why? They don't want to get rid of their power. Is this why you want to have a very public one-on-one? Yes. -on -one? Well, not just your campaign, but with, with the people in power, like the people with the SEC, the people yes. who are with... Absolutely, because I want it to be known that I have an issue with these people. So if I fucking disappear, you might want to at least question these people. You think our government would not remove somebody? You really think that, oh, that, please, that you're God. that much of a threat? That I'm... Oh, no, no. I'm, I'm, listen, 
I'm not, I'm not saying I'm a threat at all. But if I was, do you think they wouldn't think twice about, well, we can't arrest him, can we whack him? Please, God, you think it's just a, it's America and America doesn't do what every other country in the world does? You think dictatorships in the third world which whack people right and left are the only people who have that freedom as governments? Bullshit. The more power you have, the more freedom you have. Now, we hear about it all the time. Hillary Clinton whacked this and that. All rumor. But we've got millions of them. God's sake, please, statistics will tell you some of it is true. Yes, governments remove citizens that are considered to be a problem. Now, maybe I'm not a problem. I certainly intend to be. Mm -hmm.